Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install MongoDB on your Mac operating system. I'm also going to show you how you can start your MongoDB server and use it with MongoDB client. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, let's try to download the MongoDB community server. So for that, just open your favorite browser and search for MongoDB. And the first link which will appear here will be from mongodb.com. I'm going to click on this link, which is going to redirect me to the MongoDB web page. Now here you will be able to see uh, this kind of menu. We are going to click on the products section and then we are going to choose this section which says community edition. So let's click on the community edition option. And now on this page, you will see MongoDB community server download. And when you scroll down a little, you will be able to see the select package option under the community server option. So we are going to just select this option. So just click on select package option, which is going to open the version platform and the package type, right? So the version at the time of making this video is 7.0.4, which is the latest version. Now for Mac OS, you have two different versions. One is the Mac OS ARM version and other is Mac OS X64 version. I have Mac OS M2 processor. So I can choose Mac OS ARM 64. If you have Intel version, you can choose the Mac OS X64 without ARM. And the package is TGZ package. Let me click on the download button, which is going to start the download of this uh, TGZ file. And once this TGZ file downloads, I'm going to click on this TGZ file and then it's going to extract this TGZ file into a directory, which is MongoDB Mac OS Arc 64. So now what we are going to do is we are going to transfer this MongoDB folder into our home folder of our Mac operating system. So for that, we need to open the terminal. So I'm going to first of all go to the spotlight and then search for terminal here and then click on terminal which is going to open the terminal. So when terminal opens, it opens in the home directory and here we want to copy our uh, MongoDB folder, right? So when you do PWD, you will see the full path of your home folder which is forward slash users, forward slash code bind in my case, it can be different name in your case. Just remember this uh, path. Now I'm going to CD into the downloads folder. So here is the folder which we have extracted. So now we need to move this folder into this folder, which is our home directory. So just write MV space, the name of your MongoDB folder, which is MongoDB Mac OS Arc 64 7.0.4 in my case, we want to copy this folder to our home folder, which is this one, right? So just type this path here, or you can just write forward slash user forward slash whatever is your username. Okay. Once you are done, you can press enter. So basically we want to move this folder from the downloads folder to our home folder. Let me just press enter. And now I can first of all type CD, which is going to redirect us to the home folder once again. And then when I do PWD, you can see I'm in my home folder. And here when I do LS hyphen AL, I will be able to see the MongoDB folder here also. So here is this folder you can see. So let me clear the terminal now. So here you have your MongoDB folder. Now, in order to run your MongoDB, you need to go inside the MongoDB folder. So let me go inside the MongoDB folder. And here I have this bin folder. So let me CD into the bin folder. And in the bin folder, when I do LS, I will be able to see a few binary files, which are MongoD and Mongos. So first of all, we are going to copy this bin path into our ZSHRC directory because otherwise our terminal is not going to recognize the MongoDB path. So when I do CD, we are in our home folder once again. 
and if I give mongo d command and then press enter, it doesn't recognizes this uh, command because we haven't set the path for this uh, binary for MongoDB. So what we need to do here is when I do ls space hyphen al here, there will be a dot zshrc file in your home directory. And here we need to set uh, the path of Mongo. If this file is not present, you need to create this file using the touch command. So just write touch and then dot zshrc and it's going to create your dot uh, zshrc file. If it already is present, then you just need to open this file. To open the dot zshrc file, you can use open command and then write dot zshrc and then press enter. In my case, this file is already present because I have already added some export paths and I need to add the MongoDB path here also. So to add the MongoDB path, first of all, let's open the spotlight. So here just type forward slash user with capital U. So we are going to click on the users folder under folders results. So just click on this and then click on uh, your username. In my case, it's code bind and then click on the MongoDB uh, folder. So in my case, uh, this is the name of MongoDB folder and then click on the bin folder. So you need to copy the folder path of this uh, directory. So to copy the path, what you can do, you can open uh, this bin folder in the finder and then click on view and then click on show path bar and it's going to show this directory in the path bar so right click here and then click on copy bin as path name, which is going to copy the path of this directory. Let's paste this uh, path here. And then what you need to do before this, just write export space capital path is equal to and in curly brackets path and then write colon and then your path, which is forward slash users code bind in my case and then uh, the path to your mongodb bin directory i need to use the small e here instead of capital e so that uh, it works fine and once you are done just press command s to save this and then close this uh, text edit and once that's done you need to write this command which is source space dot z s h r c in your home directory right press enter once that's done let me clear the terminal and then it mongo d command is going to work so just type mongo d and then press enter now mongo d command is working right now but in between it's going to uh, throw an error and the error will be related to this uh, directory which says forward slash data forward slash db path will not be found. So we need to create the data path of uh, your data directory. So now we are going to create the data directory in our home folder. So I'm in my home folder. I can do pwd and you can see in, I'm in my home folder. Here I'm going to create a directory. So I'm going to just write sudo and then I'm going to give this mkdir command and then hyphen p and then just write data forward slash db. Okay, so press enter, which is going to create this data forward slash db directory in your uh, home folder. I can do ls and I can see this data directory is created. And when I go into the data directory, cd into data, I can see this db directory, right? So once this uh, directory is uh, created, I'm going to just uh, clear the terminal and then I just need to run the mongod command with the data directory path. So you need to give this command in order to run mongo daemon or mongo d. So just give mongo d and then hyphen hyphen db path is equal to forward slash user forward slash your username. In my case, my username is code bind. If you don't know your username, then uh, you can open uh, a new terminal window and then uh, just write pwd and whatever comes after users folder, that is your username, right? 
So just write MongoD space hyphen hyphen db path is equal to forward slash users forward slash your username forward slash data forward slash db. This is the path which we have created right now and then press enter. And now it gives me the error and the, the error says I don't have permission to create the general uh, D, right? So instead of uh, this, I need to run this command with the sudo privileges. So instead of uh, this, just add sudo in front of uh, your command. And when it asks for your password, just provide your password. And once you do that, your MongoD server is finally uh, started, right? All the things I'm going to give you in the description of this video, all these commands, so you don't forget anything. So now our Mongo daemon is running, but how you can connect to uh, your MongoDB server using a client. So when you download MongoDB, it only comes with the MongoDB server. It doesn't come with MongoDB shell or MongoDB uh, compass, which is the graphical user interface utility. So let's download them one by one also. So once again, go to your favorite browser and search for MongoDB. Then click on the mongodb.com result. Then click on products here and then click on community edition. Here under tools, you will see Mongo shell and MongoDB compass. First of all, let's uh, download the MongoDB compass, which is a GUI application. So I'm going to select this. And then when I scroll down, I can see the version form will be Mac OS ARM 64 M1 for me because I'm using Apple Silicon processor. If you're using Intel, choose the other version. And then the package will be DMG. Click on download, which is going to start the download of this DMG file. And once this DMG file is downloaded, let me click on this. And it's going to start this MongoDB Compass installer. So the installation is simple. You need to drag and drop this MongoDB compass into your applications folder. Select MongoDB compass, press command key and then drag and drop this icon on top of the applications folder, which is going to copy this uh, MongoDB compass in your applications. Once that's done, go to your launch pad and you will see MongoDB compass here. Click on it and it's going to start the MongoDB compass. Now keep in mind, I have this Mongo daemon running, so I haven't canceled this command. So Mongo daemon is running in my case. Don't close this terminal, otherwise Mongo daemon will close, right? So you can see this Mongo daemon is still running. And then in uh, the MongoDB compass, this is the connection string to connect to your local host MongoDB server instance. So just leave it as default and then click on connect, which is going to connect to your MongoDB server instance. And you can see by default, you have this admin config and local databases by default present in your MongoDB servers. So now you are connected to your uh, MongoDB server successfully using MongoDB compass. You can also create a new database, click on create database and then name your database, for example, demo. You can also create a collection name, for example, names. And then you can also choose if it's a time series database. I don't want this right now. So, and then click on create database and it's going to create this demo database with this uh, collection, which is called names. So everything is working fine. Now you can also use Mongo SH. You can see this option here and it's for Mongo SH. And you can use this command line tool to interact with your MongoDB uh, server using the command utility. So I'm going to just say show DBs here, which is going to show me the list of all the databases. So when I press enter, it's going to show me the list of all the databases, the demo database I have created. So you can see it shows me the demo database. If I want to, uh, work with particular database, I can use uh, use command. So use and then use demo. I want to use the demo database and then press enter. So I'm switched into the demo database. Then I can just say show collections and you can see it's auto complete, right? So when I press tab, it auto completes my command and it shows me the collection. 
So you can use this Mongo SH to uh, use command line uh, uh, client with your MongoDB server. If you are a fan of GUI, just use this one. So after installing MongoDB Compass, you will not even need the Mongo shell utility separately because this Mongo SH interface is already there. But if you want to install Mongo shell separately without Compass, then you can go to Mongo shell under tools and then download this zip file and then use Mongo command to uh, interact with your MongoDB servers. So that's it for this video. This is how you can download and install MongoDB on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.